Tulsa Fire Department is feeling the heat. Officials say the lack of manpower is a serious issue. Two News reporter Asia Vickers joins us with more on a plan that could fix the problem. Asia. Well, Jason, officials say it's hard to get the job done right when they are short about 50 people, but a federal grant could help them out. Tulsa residents say it's a big concern that their fire department does not have enough manpower. I have a house, I have children. Uh, in case there is a fire in my house, I want to make sure that I can get help. When fully staffed, the department has 682 firefighters on the payroll. But for the last several months, it's been about 632. Officials say the reason they're short-staffed is because of crew members retiring within the last six months. A lack of funding in the budget has prevented the department from replacing these people. The budget and, and the things going on with the budget has prevented us from having a class like normal. And that thus, now we're 50 back. Officials say for the most part, the department is still running smoothly. One area where it can become an issue is the fact that they are only able to put three crew members on a fire truck. They should have four. This number is needed in the event of a search and rescue. We're saying there should be two people waiting to rescue okay. those two people that went in just in case something happened to those okay. two people that went inside. Officials say because of this, the department isn't following national fire protection guidelines while out on the job. They also say it doesn't make any sense to have to pay crew members overtime which was the case last Friday during the Tulsa Club fire. Many say continuously stretching the department thin can create more problems down the road. So I think it puts a lot of people's lives at risk, and I even think it puts the firemen and women at risk because if they're short, you know, they're probably taking more chances than they have to. Could hear back about the grant as early as December. They are now testing new recruits ahead of time to fill those positions just in case the grant comes in. Asia Vickers, 2 News, works for you. All right, thank you, Asia. Now, the fire department will be taking applications for new crew members starting this Thursday.